magandang buhay. This is Teacher Melody M. Valiente and I welcome you to our week 3 session for quarter 1 in Empowerment Technologies entitled Imaging and Design for the Online Environment. So before we start, I would like to thank Sir Jerome Feliciano for writing this module or should I say learning activity sheet. Okay, so the learning competency for this module or for this lesson is to evaluate existing websites and online resources based on the principles of layout, graphic, and visual message design. So first, what is graphics? So these are visual representation of an object. Design or graphics are regularly differentiated with content, which is comprised of characters such as numbers and letters instead of pictures. Some graphic design can be developed in a visual way. So it can be a visualized to the simplest form such as business logo to as complex as website layouts. So when we say graphics, hindi lang basta poster, hindi lang basta infographic, hindi lang basta yung nakikita natin sa billboard, no? Pwedeng kahit pinaka simpleng logo, graphics na yon hanggang sa kung ano yung makikita natin sa mga web website, web pages, or any layouts. Okay, so let's discuss the basic principles of graphics and layout. First, we have balance. So it refers to the visual weight of the objects, texture, colors, and area that are evenly distributed on the screen or even the canvas try to check websites like google youtube and see if they hold the same amount of weight on the other color must have similar visual weight image or any element should be balanced to provide stable design okay kailangan symmetrical okay evenly balanced or distributed ang mga uh, elements na or components na nasa, nasa layout so, walang sapawan, na ba? Wala ring malulugi, ganun. So, kailangan balance. Eh. How about emphasis? So, this is a basic design principle that makes certain element of a design stand out. Like in this picture. So, as we can see, the artist or layout artist gave emphasis to the violin. Right? So, kung makikita nyo agad tong picture na to, doon kayo unang titingin. Kasi yun ang gustong mangyari ng layout artist. Okay? Nagbigay siya ng emphasis dito sa violin. Next, movement. It refers to the way the eye travels over a design. Movement can be directed along lines, edges, shapes, and colors. Okay, so kahit picture, kahit graphic, or any layout man yan, hindi man gumagalaw, meron pa ring principle na movement. So sa picture na to, saan ka unang titingin? At alam mo kung saan or papunta saan yung motor na parang nakaano blur dyan. Kasi merong movement, ba? May design para sa movement. So doon sa daan, makikita mo kaagad na merong motor. Diba? Another is yung nasa example ng inyong module, diba? Directed kayo or kayo ay um, guided ng lines, shapes, and colors. Next principle is we have pattern or what we call repetition and rhythm. So, repetition simply means the reusing of the same element throughout your design. Pattern is combination of elements that are repeated. Rhythm, use intervals or spaces between elements to give an impression of movement. So, this principle will bring a clear sense of unity, consistency, and cohesiveness. Okay, so eto medyo marami tayong nakikita ang mga ganitong klaseng pictures, yung may pattern, repetition, and rhythm. Kasi masarap din silang tignan. Oh, look at the picture. Example natin dyan sa taas. May coins, 
diba? Tapos yung isang pattern pa, yung isang picture pa dyan is gumamit siya ng shape na square, ba? Diba? Iba't ibang size, mayroong iba't ibang kulay, ba? Diba? Pero, iisa ang pattern niya, gumamit lang ng iisang shape. Na maganda na rin naman ang kinalabasan. Okay, next is proportion. Harmonious relationship of two or more elements that are put together in a composition. So, when we say proportion, different elements. For example, in the first picture, in this first picture, hindi <laughs> ko may turo sa screen. Okay, so kung nakikita nyo, yung proportion ng malaking arko na yan at saka sa mga tao. ba? Diba? Dahil it is ideal talaga na mas malaki yun kesa sa tao. Hindi na siya proportion kung mas malaki pa yung tao kesa sa puno or kesa dun sa... Diba? Maganda yung pagkakashot. O, how about when we apply that in a web page or web design? Okay? Like this one in Google. For example. So, it is proportioned. Diba? Yung paglagay ng logo, yung mga... Um, Pagla paglabas dyan ng mga text. Okay? So, it is proportioned. Walang nasa, nasapawan, walang nalugi. Okay? Next, variety. So, it is created in a variety of ways through colors. So, typography, images, shapes, and virtually other designed element. So, etong variety na to, meron kang kinombine na, syempre, variety nga, may variation. Iba't ibang kulay, let's say, iba't ibang shapes, iba't ibang type ng uh, font, yan. Pwedeng typography, images, or shapes. Okay, para naman maiba, ba diba? Okay, so, those are the basic principles, okay? Let's go back and review. The first one is, again, we have balance. Emphasis, movement, pattern, repetition, and rhythm, proportion, and variety. Okay, so those are the basic principles of layout and graphic designing. Now, this is the most common graphic design nowadays information graphics or what we call infographics so this is a representation of information data or knowledge intended to present the information quickly and clearly so it is a creative way to attract viewers attention for easy information dissemination through collection of images charts and minimal text that gives an easy to understand overview of a topic like this one doh advisory ano ang pinaka epektibong protection laban sa covid so instead na puro text ang ilagay dyan nagcombine ng graphics kaya nga information graphics mas malaki mas maganda mas maiintindihan Sabon at alcohol. Simple lang. Ito ang regular na paghuhugas ng mga kamay gamit ang sabon at umaagos na tubig. Laging maghuhugas ng kamay, lalo na kung madumi na ang mga ito. Maari ring gumamit o magpahid ng alcohol-based sanitizers. ba? Diba? I-share mo ito sa ibang kakilala mo. Napaka-simple and yet informative. That is from DOH Advisory. Ito pa ang mga examples ng infographics about the benefits of senior high school. So, ba? Diba, kung makikita, hindi masyadong masakit sa mata, hindi masyadong uh, bugbog sa information, balanced lang ang colors, shapes, images, text na makikita nyo or any elements na nandyan. So, magkakaroon ng sapat na kaalaman at kasanayan ang bawat senior high school graduate. Sa senior high school, magiging handa sila para sa trabaho, negosyo o kolehiyo. Sa K-12, kaya mo. Napaka-limited lang ng text na nilagay. And yet, ba diba, marami ng ideas na nakarating sa'yo. ba diba? Yung interpretation mo, mas madali siyang uh, maintindihan yung 
infographics kesa sa plain text lang. Okay, how about the other one, this one? So, these are the learning delivery modalities. Okay, so as we, as we can see, face-to-face, -face, distance learning, blended learning, homeschooling. Yang mga yan. So, for non-ECQ or GCQ areas and for ECQ, GCQ areas, yun lang yung mga um, recommended learning delivery modalities for sin, uh, school year 2020-2021. Diba? Napaka-informative na agad. So, yan ang kagandahan ng infographics. Okay, so let's go on for activities. Napakadali lang ng activity natin ngayon, class. So, for activity 1, find the word or words na related sa topic or na-discuss natin. Meron na akong nakikita dyan. Ito, oh. Ito, 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 ito. ito. Okay. So, yan. At least 10 words lang na related sa topic. Bilugan. Pwedeng pa-diagonal. Pwedeng vertical or horizontal. Okay? Activity 2. So, meron tayong multiple choice test. Ano lang yan ha? Konting-konti lang yan. Hindi ko na pinost yung question. Nasa module nyo na kaagad. Activity 3. Fact or bluff. Okay, so parang true or false lang din yan. So, basahin mabuti ang mga questions or statements whether it is a fact or a bluff. Okay, activity 4. So, this will be a performance test for you. Rubric for assessment is already provided in your module or your activity sheets. Instructions. Look for the best corner of your home or room. Draw it and apply some basic principles of graphics and layout. And identify and explain the principles being manifested. Yung anim na basic principles na yon. Kailangan makita doon sa drawing mo na isang corner sa inyong bahay o room. Yung sa tingin mo, best corner na ng bahay nyo. How will you picture out? How will you draw it with the principles? Kahit hindi ka ganun kagaling mag-drawing, okay lang. Basta't naiintindihan ko na kung kusina yon, kung kwarto mo yon, kung sa salas yon, sa terrace nyo man. Okay na sa akin yun. Okay, and then explain the principles being manifested. Activity 5. Another performance activity. So, create an infographic or poster information on keeping ourselves safe from the COVID-19 pandemic. Katulad nung flinash ko kanina, yung sa DOH advisory. You will create your own infographic. Originality, okay? Kailangan makita dyan. Your rubric for assessment is also provided in your module or activity sheet. That's for activity 5. So, sabi dun sa mask ni Ate Girl, our voices have power. Hmm. So, and that's it for our reflection. You will write directly to your module what I've learned, what I've enjoyed, and also, what, your, what are the things you're still confused kung meron man? Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to chat, teacher Melody, or comment down in this video. Thank you very much and see you again next week for another lecture video. Bye! Yeah.